Well, the teacher turned preacher. Yep, last week, a North Carolina educator, is there any other kind, scolded a student for criticizing President Obama, warning the boy that he could be arrested. It all started with Tanya Dixon hyphen Neely, made the fact of the day Romney bullied a boy in high school, and a student responded with, didn't Obama bully someone, though? Obviously a Fox News fan. Well, the social studies teacher at North Rowan High School started yelling at the kid not to disrespect the president. If only there were some kind of audio tape. And it's going to stop. It just ah, stop. Because that's disrespect. That's disrespect. You're disrespecting Romney. You don't I could listen to that voice for hours. Anyway, uh, the student pointed out that, quote, if you're going to talk trash about one side, you've got to talk trash about the other. And then it continued some more. I'm going to tell you something now about me. As a teacher, I'm not supposed to allow you to disrespect the president of the United States. I'm not. I didn't disrespect him. I was asking you. Yes, do you realize that? No? Oh, that's probably because it's not true. Thanks to a little thing my hamster, Captain Freddy, calls the First Amendment. Anyway, Fox News Now reports that the teacher has been suspended with pay, a.k.a. given an awesome vacation. Meanwhile, in other news. Jim, what's more shocking, the behavior of the teacher or that dog <laughs> pedaling a bicycle? Well, that woman. I mean, everyone knows if you wanted to stay on the bike, you have to nail its foot to the pedals. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. That is disgusting. Jim, how can, how can a high school uh, social studies teacher say you could be arrested about, for saying bad things about the president? How does she become a teacher? Well, she's just, a, first of all, can I say the new table is a hit? Like, I could never do this on the old table. <laughs> I know. No, no, no. You I, can I'm, actually I'm just lean. lounging out and relaxing. No, you, before, if you leaned on this, the glasses would yeah, fall. It's a home run, as far as I'm concerned. I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> you should get accolades for it. Uh, I wish um, I knew what that was. I, accolades? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Are those, like, rollerblades? I don't know. I was, I've never been called out on that. I just say it a lot. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's disgusting, and it's kind of fun to listen to, though, because she didn't know she was being recorded. And if yeah. I were that kid, I would have said, what are we, in Russia or something? <laughs> yeah, that, very <laughs> clever. Yeah, I really know how to stop somebody in their tracks. Yeah. Remy, uh, in the green room, you were saying that the student should be thrown in jail, which I found shocking. <laughs> <laughs> As always, you get it perfectly correct. <laughs> No, I think it, they, they think the recording was from the school system. It wasn't from um, another student's cell phone or something. Yeah. Uh, and I think that this this happens because of something we call tenure. Mm -hmm. You know, people just give up on their jobs, on their lives. Not all, but many. I have. When they know they've got <laughs> security. Yeah, you don't need tenure for that. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously she's wrong. But yeah. I mean, the level of ignorance teaching the high school students is astonishing. Adam, what do you what do you make of this? The, the, the most amazing thing is, it goes back to that those three words suspended with pay, which always sounds to me like a really awesome reward. Like, you don't you get that's like saying you don't have to go to school and you're still getting an A. Well, it's suspended with pay is kind of like when Wall Street firms neither admit nor deny wrongdoing and then mm -hmm. pay millions and millions of dollars <laughs> for yes. repeated violations. Look, th my people have a great word for this. She's a, a putz. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Who are your people again? The Jews. Oh, okay. The Jews, and she's not good for the Jews. That's right? not Malaysian. Oh, no, not okay. Malaysian. <laughs> but you can't disrespect us because we'll get you. We'll yeah. get you. <laughs> so should she be fired? Fired? I think she needs to, no, I wouldn't fire her, but she's clearly out of line. Well, you know what? Let me backtrack on that. Mm. I don't know if this woman should be teaching. She's clearly out of yeah. line. But just listening, the recording, mm -hmm. it almost sounds like they're having fun. It's yeah. not, it didn't sound threatening to it, me. It she's out of me, line and she's wrong. You know what it sounded? It sounded to me uh, like around 3 o'clock on the F train. 
That's what it sounded like to me. I'm pretending that I actually take the subway. I never have. Oh, I can't Greg. believe you got a train right. Yeah. It reminds me of the green train uh, when I'm on there. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What? When, when did, because this is how you know I'm on the other side of 40, when did you will not disrespect? I thought the phrase would actually do not be disrespectful toward the president. When did it become, when did disrespect become the phrase? Not only that has it become that, thanks to hip hop culture, but uh, it's also so overused. I mean, right. I, the, she used disrespect at least five times in an entire recording. Everyone's respecting or disrespecting somebody else 24 7, and I can't stand it. But here's the word that I have a problem with what? it's the S word. The kid said it to the teacher, the teacher said it to the kid. In my day, teachers did not use obscenities, and kids were not permitted to use obscenities. The only S word we used in my class was civility. And that's the kind of education that I don't think we have in this country anymore. Oh, it's good to see you take a stand on this. Thank the you. The funny thing is, there are two things that happen here. Uh, for, the teacher is going to be creating more right-wingers by doing that, right? Because kids rebel. Yeah. So if you start doing this, the kid's just going to go, I'm not going to be like that. Yeah. The other, uh, other side to it is that kids become very cynical about getting grades because they realize, oh, if, in order to get a good grade, I have to agree with the teacher. Well, it sounds to me, Greg, like this woman just has a real bee in her bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we don't have to edit that in post. <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, what is bonnet, actually? No, I know what it is. I, I don't know. I think that uh, this kid actually took a risk. He was speaking truth to power. He should be uh, locked. He didn't record it, though? Remy said that it was actually taped the, by the, the school. I, I, I don't know. I, the, the tagline seemed to, to suggest to me that it was a school recording. I think most schools have some yeah. sort of recording oh. system in every classroom now for, for safety reasons. Well, the, safety? in this case, it was well worth it, I think. Okay. Uh, right. Teacher suspended, yeah, for telling students they could go to jail for saying bad things about Obama. Remy, the recording was from a student's cell phone sitting on a desk, not from the school. Mm. Very well. Uh, Adam, you at first said the teacher shouldn't be fired, then you kind of backtracked. Uh, now that you've had some time to think about it, any final thoughts? She should be fired. <laughs> she should not be teaching. <laughs> All right. uh, Bill, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you for bringing up the fact that not only did the teacher allow the student to use the S word, but then she herself used it. I don't understand why no one is outraged by this. Level of discourse. Uh, not to coin a phrase, but uh, we're living in quite a time. We really are. Yeah. We you really didn't coin are, that though. phrase. No. Didn't oh, coin it. Well, he said not to coin a phrase. Yes. So. And I'm, a, I, I'm saying he didn't. Yeah. I'm agreeing. Yeah, I'm in absolutely. the middle. There was yeah. no coining going on. <laughs> yeah. You should but, coin a phrase. But seriously, it seemed like, it seemed like, like she, w she didn't care that the, that the kid said the S word. Because she was she mad. And, but then she said, but it seemed like something that happens in that classroom every day. Oh, yeah, like it definitely. wasn't like, uh, I can't believe you just said that. It was just, that's, really? Yeah. I, I actually like the fact that they didn't focus on that. Because I think we spend too much time focusing on little petty side, like the fact that with this obnoxious, awful teacher, mm -hmm. the student was reasonable. The fact that they dropped s bombs in yeah. a casual conversation wasn't that important. It wasn't like they were insulting each other. But I Jim, did I this with my hands to really make right. my point. And was I, was, I was going to argue with you, but you went like that, so I, I can't. Well, no, that you, is the showstopper. No, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what? Uh, yeah. All around the country, people are just shutting down when they yeah, see that. Yeah, that's the open and shut point. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, absolutely. Case. But Jim, don't you think sometimes it's like the little things like that that you let enough of those go, and then it's it's the Giuliani theory in New York, and then things things get worse and society starts Absolute, to devolve. Uh, uh, and the quality of life crimes that Giuliani spoke about. Like, yes. for instance, with myself, it started by perusing a magazine, <laughs> and the next thing you know, it's $1,000 to strangers a week from massages. Sure. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I understand snowballing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, here's a statement from the school district. Quote, the Rowan Salisbury school system expects all students and employees to be respectful in the school environment and for all teachers to maintain their professionalism in the classroom. This incident should serve as an education for all teachers to stop and reflect on their interaction with students. So this is a teachable moment, literally. Oh. Wow. How about that? That was good. Thank you.